What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Today I have a 2019 C43 here that I wrapped a little over a year ago. Now this vehicle was wrapped in Avery gloss gray. Car still looks great. Um, you know, the finish itself is not so bad. The car is gray underneath the wrap, uh, but I'm gonna take you for a tour of what basically happened to this wrap because it has some weathering, it has some wear and tear, it has some failure. And I wanna show you where my failures are versus what weathering looks like. Now, if you guys are looking for videos on how to take apart like the front bumper or how to wrap this front bumper or take off the door handles, mirrors, that sort of thing, don't forget to check out my website, ckwraps.com. I'll put a link in the top corner and in the description below for you. Uh, great content on there as far as you know, how to do this. Uh, very common front bumper as far as Mercedes go. A lot of them are very similar styling to this. Anyways, let's get into this. Now, uh, customer is very happy with the vehicle. Obviously, we're rewrapping it in satin black. It's going to look great. We're going to peel off the existing wrap that's there, see how the paint looks after one year. Uh, the paint should be absolutely 100% perfect because the paint was perfect when it came in here. This vehicle had a clear coat run when it came in here, brand new from the factory, like an icicle hanging off of the front passenger side fender. And I'll try to find the picture that I have of that. Uh, I might still have it somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to have a look through like my emails and stuff like that because I did shoot it off to the customer to let them know what was happening at that time. Uh, I'm sure I can find it somewhere or it's in my camera roll somewhere. Anyways, uh, you do want to take pictures of imperfections like that in order to let your customer know that, yes, their car is not perfect and there are some imperfections that are there straight from the factory. Uh, again, brand new car, so they might be expecting perfection. Now, I'm going to show you where I wasn't so perfect as far as this wrap goes. Let's have a look. Let's check out the front bumper area first. Okay, so the customer said something was happening right here and they said they messed around with it a little bit. Uh, this is what they told me. Again, I didn't know until maybe this had happened or until he brought it in. Uh, he didn't say anything beforehand. So we can see that something happened here. It actually looks like it was kind of cut away. Uh, the line is pretty straight, but I believe personally speaking that this area is probably bubbling. And uh, because I didn't do my inlay for far enough down, there's an inlay up on the top side here. I didn't do my inlay far enough down, so there was too much tension in this area, or I didn't post heat or clean properly. Uh, again, this is my failure right here. This is caught because of me. Uh, over here on the sensor, yeah, the sensor is fully wrapped actually. Uh, you can see around the, the ring that this actually bubbled up and it caused a stone chip to go through it. Now, it isn't always ideal to cut these things out all the time because if you cut them out and you take the sensors out, and you try and tuck the film in, when you push the sensor back in, the seals usually end up pushing, they're so t they fit so tight, the seals end up usually pushing the film back out. Also, because it's a front bumper, if you stretch across this panel right here, and you cut this out, you could have the, f the film expand in this area. Uh, I do often like to leave them, especially when they're more flat like this, I do often like to leave them covered. Uh, it gives it a more finished look, like that one over there is doing okay. And the rest of the bumper is actually doing okay. So we'll have a look in there, up in the top there. Uh, I don't even believe that I used, I did not use a seam in this area here, though you can. Uh, nothing is lifting. I did actually was very thorough with my post heat. Let's have a look at a couple of other areas here. Let's check out the corners. The corners looking pretty good. My, my, keep in mind, this is a year old, a little over a year old. Over here, we can see that we have a teeny tiny bit of pullback. Uh, this could have been rectified. I could have cleaned this up actually, if the customer had told me. That's just trimming away some of that pullback. Nothing is actually pulling back off of the edge, but you can see that there. That is mostly my fault. I mean, it's, it's just, just due from uh, stretching the film too much in that area there. Let's check out the other side. I haven't even really had a look at it. A little bit better on this side. A Couple of teeny tiny wrinkles on the back side there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's check out the corner on the other side. It's doing pretty well. Uh, some other areas here that I would like to show you are uh, here. Now this, if you see the vinyl, looks kind of crumpled. You can actually tell there. Now that means the vinyl has actually twisted in this area. Uh, this right here, actually this what you see hanging down, is where the icicle was hanging out. So what I had to do is I had to snap off this little icicle of clear coat. Uh, again, I'll try and find that picture for you guys. Let's check out the other side. Uh, the corner and bottom of the hood here, doing nicely as well. Now over here, I did notice the same thing, even worse situation. This is not, this is not your fault. This is normal wear and tear when it comes to driving the vehicle. Sometimes the bumper and the fender or other seals sit very tightly together 
and it causes friction because of vibrations from the plastic bumper to let's say the fender or the opposite panel. This is, a, this is common, unfortunately, and there isn't a whole lot you can do about this other than not tuck the film around so far. Uh, so now that I've seen this, I'm not gonna tuck the film around so far in this area here. We're gonna trim it off mostly right at the edge this way we don't have this happen again. This is not something you could predetermine or know beforehand until it actually happens. Uh, all in here is actually still pretty good. Not bad. It looks okay. Let's check out all the way down here. Uh, again, stones and stuff and water and everything gets kicked up in here. It's doing pretty well. Uh, around here, this is an entire separate piece all the way down. That's one separate piece. There's a seam in there somewhere. Uh, it's still holding up very well. Let's check out the corners here. That's looking pretty good. Let's take a little bit more around. Uh, over here, there is a teeny, teeny tiny bit of lifting, uh, but the rubber trim, or sorry, the window seal, whatever the seal goes down here, I've already removed it, uh, actually covers quite a bit of this. So that's nothing to really worry about. Uh, I wasn't visible on this side, at least, when I had the trim in there. Uh, this corner looks good. It's very visible to the eye, so it look, does look good. Uh, inside the door, uh, this is something that the customer told me happened almost right away, was the there was a bubble here, okay? And I... He didn't want to bring it by just for that, so I said, uh, kind of explained how to fix it. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't turn out terribly good. Uh, I could have done a better job if he had just brought it by and I would have fixed that up. Basically what happened here is I had too much tension. I did not lay into this area properly. And so the vinyl bubbled in this area right here. Uh, he went to go and heat it and push it back down, I believe with a blow dryer. Uh, the tucking around the windows and stuff like that looks very nice still. All the way around here. Got to tuck down the window a bit there. Uh, this corner, these corners down here look pretty good. Down here, let's check out the bumper. Everything seems to be holding up really tight and nice around here. There's no signs of too much friction. A little bit right here, it's actually touching, uh, but not, not terribly noticeable. Down in the wheel well area, or sorry, behind here, it's looking pretty good still too, even though it gets kicked up by stones. All down here, it's still looking pretty good. Show you all that. My goal here is to show you where I make mistakes. Corner down here seems to be holding up pretty nice as well. Spoiler is done in one piece, I believe. I did it in one piece. Yes, I did do it in one piece. Uh, there's no seam anywhere on the spoiler, and it looks, it looks, it looks fantastic actually. Down in this area here, there's no seam, just one piece. Uh, sorry, there is an inlay, a teeny tiny inlay in there. Um, there's something going on here, I don't know what that is, just a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit of vinyl that I probably just need to trim off. Uh, again, something that I could have fixed. I can actually just trim that off with almost my nail. Uh, something I could have fixed, that wouldn't have been a problem. Uh, all up in here, again, there is a seam right up here. There's a seat, there's an inlay. Uh, this piece right here is one solid piece across the face and then there is one more piece on the inside right here. Uh, I'm going to remove those so that I can wrap it properly without doing a seam. I did remove them last time. I believe I had access from underneath the bumper. Yes, I do. Uh, badging all went back on. Uh, there is a seam right here. Again, that's holding up pretty nicely as well. You can see here that Avery's finish uh, isn't isn't the nicest. You can see a lot of the air channels. So I'll try and get a, I'll try and get the light on it here. Now this car was filthy, filthy, filthy when it came in. I don't think it was washed all winter long. No big deal. Um, I'm going to try and get a better angle for you as far as the air channels go because I can see a lot of them still. See, see how pixelated it looks? Almost kind of like a Tetris, very square looking. I can see uh, not square, but uh, octagon looking, like honeycomb. You can see the texture of the air release pattern through the film. It makes the finish not so nice. Uh, with the satin black, you won't notice that as much. You can see it quite a bit there. Now, this was done in three pieces. One, two, three. Still looks great, even though they're small pieces. It looks fantastic. There's just leaves and stuff kicking around in here. Not a big deal. So when I was washing it. Uh, this piece as well is looking pretty good, got to say. No lifting, no bubbling, no peeling. 
Uh, this, this side vent over here, again, it's the tiniest inlay in there, tiny, teeny, tiny, just to give myself a little bit of extra coverage. Looks good. Uh, right here, okay, perfect. More twisting. I did see this and I forgot it was here. This is again, this is caused from the bumper touching the quarter panel and the vibrations between here and here. Uh, what I will do this time around is trim it off a little bit closer to the edge. Yes, we do run the risk of failure or exposing the color at that point, but this is a dark gray, so it shouldn't show it too much. Uh, if it was a red car, it'd be more problematic. And same thing here with the taillight, guys. This is friction. The taillight is sitting so tight that it's rubbing. Now, if, if the vinyl wasn't there, it would most likely be rubbing the paint, just put it that way. Tiny bits of lifting right here on the edge. Uh, this may be, because it's touching, I think it's touching here. Looks like it's kind of touching a little bit. Uh, again, it's the paint or the vinyl. The vinyl just adds that extra bit of thickness where it might just make it so it's touching or you know the customer happened to grab it. It shouldn't happen to grab it because this is automatically spring-loaded, so it shouldn't have been the customer's fault as far as this goes. It just looks like, I mean, honestly, I don't know how it ripped, but it ripped somehow, so you can actually see it's ripped. So it just may be touching when he's pushing it down. It's very, very tight there. Uh, in the cold weather, that's kind of likely that that could happen because vinyl likes to break when it's cold. We're going to get in here. I want to do a full walk around of this car. Get in here. That's looking pretty good over here. Let's get in over here. I haven't even expected all this myself yet. It's looking pretty good. Edges and cuts and lines still look all good. Uh, same thing with this piece down here. It's just not that clean in there right now. That's just some dirt. But that's a, a whole separately wrapped piece. Uh, that, unfortunately, this piece does not disconnect. On some cars that are, have the chrome ones, uh, it does come off. This one does not, which makes it really hard. In the door here, uh, he did not, again, same, same thing here. Uh, he didn't try to fix this side here. This is a bubble. Now, this is because I stretched into this area a little bit too much, and I didn't probably post heat it. It's not that bad down here. Uh, what he could have done is just poke a hole and just kind of push that out. That would have probably went away in the beginning. I don't know if it'll go away now. Uh, it doesn't really matter so much right now because we're going to be removing the wrap. Uh, this also gives you an example of how far into the door jam that I wrap normally. This gives us better coverage. Teeny tiny, is that lifting? That's just dirt. A little air bubble right there. Let's keep going along. This corner here is okay. It's a little bit more rough looking. Um, same thing with a teeny tiny bit of lifting down here. Uh, again, I could have rectified this, so it wouldn't have been a problem. All the emblem and badging has to go back on to exactly where it was. Uh, and I've already taken you through this spot right here. Uh, all in all, it's quite nice still. Again, for a vehicle, I don't believe that was really washed too often, but hey, you know, it is what it is. The wrap looks good. It protected the paint. And we're going to get into removing it. All right, guys, and that's the Mercedes C43 walk around. Uh, I hope that gives you a kind of a good example of, you know, where I made some mistakes and where the vinyl is just doing what vinyl does. Uh, again, some things you can't help. Now that we know that those things have happened, we can try to prevent them. Uh, as going through this uh, with the new wrap, I will try to prevent these things from happening again. Uh, again, those videos will be on my website, ckwraps.com. So if you're looking for those exclusive videos on how to wrap a car like this, uh, they'll be there. Uh, again, we've got some other videos to post up. We've got pretty much a full BRZ, super BRZ wrap on there. Uh, McLaren 570S, that sort of thing. And then this thing will follow. But guys, I hope this video gave you some insight and some information about you know, what to expect with a wrap that's about a year old. Uh, again, could, have it, could it have been done a little bit better? Yes, but we're always trying to learn from our mistakes, which is very important. Uh, again, if a customer doesn't tell you that something's wrong, there's nothing you can do about it, try to check up with them if you can. Uh, you know, not everyone's able to all the time, but try and check up with them, see how they're, you know, enjoying the wrap, see how things are going. Uh, and, you know, and this will give them peace of mind, at least that you're there to fix it. Uh, I was always here to fix it. Again, he just wanted to fix that one spot himself. Yeah, anyways, guys, I'm looking forward to doing some more videos for you. I, again, hope the video was informative. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Take care.